Lira-back TRIB token becomes world's second largest non-dollar pegged stablecoin. By Lira's TRIB stablecoin is pegged to the Lira TRY and 100% backed by fiat reserves held in Turkish banks. A stablecoin backed by one of the world's most volatile currencies has become one of the leading non-US dollar pegged stablecoins. The Turkish Lira back trip is second only to Tether's Euro peg. You would in market cap after quadrupling in just three weeks. While the stablecoin world is dominated by dollar back tokens like Tether Ust and USD Coin Usk, there's a smaller chunk of the market that's pegged to other currencies. Now, a token backed by Turkey's Lira TRY, one of the most volatile fiat currencies globally, has become one of the world's leading non US dollar pegged stablecoins. The Ethereum based trip stablecoin from Turkey based fintech company by Lira is pegged to the Lira allowing users to issue and redeem one trip for one TRY. According to the official website, the stablecoin is 100% backed by fiat reserves held in Turkish banks. Data from CoinGecko show the market cap of TRIP has surged by 325% to $136.10 million in three weeks. That makes it the world's second largest non-USD pegged stablecoin, just behind Tether's euro pegged stablecoin UIT, which has a market cap of $224 million. Tether is also behind the world's largest stablecoin, dollar pegged dust, with an almost $83 billion market cap. Since the Turkish lira price has been very volatile and losing value against the U.S. dollar, the TRIB token is mostly a medium of exchange currency. Our customers have been using the TRIB token as a gateway to exchange their Turkish lira fiat into cryptocurrency and vice versa, by lira told Coindesk in an email. The usage pattern is consistent with the global trend. Stable coins are widely used as a base currency in crypto trading pairs, allowing traders to access a stable asset while bypassing the volatility in fiat currencies. Stable coins facilitate trades on crypto exchanges, serve as the underlying asset for many crypto loans, and allow market participants to avoid inefficiencies stemming from converting back to fiat currency for crypto trades, the U.S. Federal Reserve said in December 2022. They essentially serve as both a means of payment and store of value for these transactions. Over 80% of volume on centralized exchanges involves stable coins, it said. Still, even though TRIB looks to have gathered traction in Turkey, US remains dominant. In the past 24 hours, the US slash TRY pair listed on the largest Turkey-based crypto exchange, BTC Turk, has seen a trading volume of $12.3 million, accounting for 18% of the total activity on the exchange. Meanwhile, the total volume in TRIB trading pairs listed on Mechex, Pangolin, and iCrypex is just $61,700. Volatile market cap TRIB volatile market cap has drawn the attention of the crypto community. The timing of the large mints and burns of TRIB is a little bit uncanny, Chain Argos tweeted on X. All burned off right before FTX collapsed. 2. Massively reminted right after Signature Bank collapsed. 3. Burned off when Binance switched to test, Prime Trust went bankrupt. In an email to Coindesk, by Lira explained that, unlike other stablecoin projects, it mints and redeems tokens in batches to avoid unsustainable gas fees. The company pre-mints an average of two days of supply and keeps it in a pre-mint wallet. The amount to be pre-minted depends on the daily issuance volume. Users receive coins in their unique deposit controlled by by Lira. When redeemed, the tokens are sent to the TRIB Redemption Sweep Wallet and then to the TRIB Burn Wallet. As an emerging country stablecoin, minting and burning each issuance slash redemption would make our operations unsustainable due to operational security standards and high gas costs, by Lira said. By Lira said it's working with other stablecoin providers to improve the mint and burn functionality and their frequencies.